Um, Colin? I just heard from Mom. Apparently you're gonna be living at her place for a little while? So what if I am? She said you showed up outside the house with all your belongings without even so much as a phone call to let her know you were coming. Don't you think you're being just a little selfish here? You could have at least asked first. Get off my back, Jane. I had no choice. I got a letter saying the apartment block my room was in was set to be demolished. They basically told me to get out on a moment's notice. What else was I supposed to do? Wow, really? Surely they gave you some compensation or provided you with some kind of temporary accommodation if you had to leave straight away. Sure, I am getting a payout. But that doesn't mean I could just snap my fingers and find somewhere else to stay right away. They didn't offer me any accommodation. So I'm on my own. I'm just staying at Mom's as a stopgap while I get back on my feet. What's the problem with that? Isn't this what family are for? I guess it does make sense to stay with Mom if that's the case. But still, you should have asked for her permission first, or at least told her you were coming. You haven't been in touch with her for years, and suddenly you just show up outside her house with all your stuff? No matter which way you look at it, it's not fair on her. I heard you got married, too? Yep, I got married last year. What was her name again? Yasmin? My jaw almost hit the floor when Mom told me. Why didn't you tell me? I know we've never been that close, and... We don't have to speak all the time, but you could have at least dropped me an update on the most important day of your life. It's easy to say that. But it hasn't been easy for me to keep in touch with you guys. Dad said he was done with me and cut me out of his life. He told me to never bother you guys again, remember? That's because you got up to your ears in gambling debt and pulled a vanishing act after the debt collector started showing up at our house demanding money. It's hardly surprising he'd want you gone from his life after pulling a stunt like that. But Dad's dead now. I thought now would be a good time for me to come back. You didn't even show up at his funeral. He cut me out of his freaking life! What was I meant to do? Show up and pretend everything was hunky-dory? Listen, Jane. My pride's taking a hit with everything that's going on right now. I'm not exactly enjoying coming running back to mommy for a place to stay. But look at it from my perspective. I had nowhere else to go. What's the problem? It's not like I'm causing you any trouble. It doesn't even affect you. But it's okay for you to cause mom trouble? Mom's really thoughtful and kind. She won't see it that way. So it's fine. You're not the one who gets to decide whether it's fine or not. Jeez. You make it sound like I'm forcing her to put me up for nothing in return. And I hope you're not. I hope you're at least going to contribute to the basic living expenses. I'm not going to help out monetarily. But Mom asked me if I helped sort through some things. So I'm going to contribute to a household by doing that instead. She said she wanted me to sort out all the stuff he left behind in his will. So I'm going to be throwing a lot of stuff away. You know. Like ancient chests of drawers, ornaments, stuff like that. Mom's house isn't exactly Buckingham Palace. And she says she wants to replace some of her old furniture soon. So we're going to need the space. If Mom says that's what she wants, I have no objections. But you better not cause her any trouble, Colin. I mean it. She's not as young as she used to be, and the last thing she needs is a bunch of extra stress after losing Dad. Not only that, but I hear your wife's going to be moving in with you, too. Mom's kind of friendly. I'm sure her and Yasin will be getting along like a house on a fire before we know it. What does Yasmin think about moving in with her mother-in-law? Wasn't she against the idea? I know it might only be short term, but living with the mother-in-law isn't exactly at the top of most people's list of priorities. 
Yasmin's carefree and easygoing. She takes whatever life throws at her with a spring in her step and a smile on her face. She's just grateful we're going to have a place to stay. She knows we're in no position to be picky. I see. Well, I'm pleased she's being so open-minded about the whole thing. She sounds like a good egg. Look after Mom while you're with her, okay, Colin? I'm counting on you. I don't want you taking advantage of her kind, trusting nature. Jeez, sis, what do you take me for? It's not like that. Mom's done a lot for me. And I see this as an opportunity to show her how grateful I am to have her. Take a chill pill, okay? Rest assured, I'm not plotting any evil schemes like you seem to think I am. <laughs> Mom's gonna be fine. In fact, she'll be better off having us around. Colin, Mom says you still haven't moved out of her house. Yep. We can't find anywhere else to stay. You know full well Mom told you to hurry up and find somewhere else ASAP. You said yourself staying with her was only supposed to be a stopgap while you got back on your feet. Yeah, what the hell? She told us to get out. She's being so horrible to us. You'd think she'd be over the moon to be reunited with her beloved son after all this time. Not only that, but she should be grateful to have my amazing wife around the house to grind the place up. You may have forgotten this, but you guys aren't living with Mom because she WANTED you to. Sure, maybe not. But what kind of wife willingly volunteers to go and live with her mother-in-law these days? Mom doesn't know how lucky she is. Mom's health is deteriorating, and she can't walk as well as she used to. I don't know what's wrong with her. She should have more peace of mind with us there. Obviously not, if she's asking you to find somewhere else to live ASAP. Why is it so hard for you to just respect her wishes? She's her own person and she's used to living on her own. She doesn't have to want you there. Besides, you said it'd only be two months at most, which means you pretty much deceived her. It's only normal she'd be mad about that. Your lucky dad isn't around to see this. It's been three months already. It's not my fault. We can't find any nice houses. What am I supposed to do? Live in some crappy beat up old bungalow? Would you be happy then? She's doing you a favor, Colin. You're hardly in any position to be picky. If living in an old bungalow is what it takes to respect mom's wishes, then that's what you should do. Oh yeah, and how could I forget? I hear you've been selling mom's belongings without permission? What the hell is wrong with you? You have no right to do that! It's called cleaning up. Mom's the one who asked me to do it. No, she asked you to get rid of things she didn't want. To not sell things she has. God, will you just shut up already? You're so annoying! Why well, you gotta be on my case all the time? Back off! I will not back off because you don't listen to a word Mom says. Even if I don't, what does it have to do with you? It's not like I'm causing any trouble. You just enjoy sticking your nose in, don't you? Believe me, I'd be ecstatic if I never had to engage with you again, but... Unfortunately, you've reinserted yourself into our lives and don't seem to know when to take a hint. You've got some nerve to act like your behavior doesn't affect me. Who was it who had to help pay off all your debts back then? It was me, wasn't it, Colin? Oh yeah, good point. Thanks for that. <laughs> if you feel even an ounce of genuine gratitude for that, then you'll start listening to Mom and doing what she says. You didn't even visit her in hospital when she collapsed last year. You only want anything to do with her when there's something in it for you. Are you working? Yeah, of course I am. That's funny, because Mom said it doesn't seem like you have a job at all. 
Mom wouldn't understand even if I told her. I quit my old company and work from home now. Freelance? Yep. It might look like I'm unemployed because I'm at home all day. But it's not like that at all. People from her generation just don't seem to get that people work in all sorts of different ways now. Will you explain to her for me? That working from home is a thing nowadays? She'll listen to you. I'm sure she understands that without needing to hear it from me. I tried to tell her. She seems to have a vague idea what it means. I don't think the penny dropped yet. So what industry are you in? Um, why do I need to tell you that? I thought you wanted me to explain it to Mom. Jeez, what do you want? My old biography? You'll need to go to specifics. Just give her the gist so she gets off my back about finding work. Excuse me? God damn, you're annoying sometimes! You insist on getting involved at every turn despite the fact you don't even live with us. I'm so glad you're not here. My life would be a living hell. Not to mention Yasmin. She'd probably end up getting bullied. I wouldn't have to get involved if you listened to Mom, would I? If you didn't act like a five-year-old kid, I wouldn't have to act like your minder. You pull a vanishing act after palming off your gambling debts on us, then conveniently reappear the moment you're in trouble. Is it any wonder I'm being like this? What's the problem? It doesn't affect you. Wait. You don't think I'm going to make a move on the house or something, do you? No, I don't think you'd do that. What's the issue then? Chill out and quit whining. How about showing a little gratitude to me and my amazing wife for being kind enough to move in with our lonely aged mother? You should just enjoy merry life with your husband in your own house and keep your nose out of mine and mom's business. You're hardly a saint yourself, are you? You and him could have moved in with mom to look after her as her health deteriorated, but obviously you didn't want to. Because she's still independent enough that she doesn't need us to... yet. Believe me, we'll be there for her when the time comes. Oh, will you now? Let's face it, you sure as hell won't be. Damn it, sis! Will you just cut me some slack already? It's not like I wanted to go off the radar like that before. I just... didn't have a choice, you know? I feel hella guilty about the whole debt thing. I was hoping to make it up to Mob by moving in with her. If you feel guilty about what you did, then wonderful. So you should. But seriously? You planned on making it up to her by moving in with her without her permission and staying way longer than you said you would. You have a strange definition of atonement. She'd be better off living on her own than with you and your wife. You know how kind our mom is. She'd do anything for anyone. Why can't you be the same? Why won't you consider how she feels about all this? I do consider that. I do. If you really do, then you'll respect her wishes and hurry up and find somewhere else to live. You're a pair of grown adults. You can't rely on your aged mother forever. Stop being so selfish. Hello, dear. Sorry I couldn't answer the phone. Is everything okay? Mom, you're out right now, right? Yes, I had some important business to attend to. I'm not at home at the moment. Oh, you're not at the house, are you? Yes, or rather... I was at the house just now. What the hell's going on there? I was so shocked. Why has your bedroom been converted into a storage room? Oh, well, you see... Your brother and his wife said they needed to put a few of their things in there. Before I knew it, it looked like... that. 
Then, as if that wasn't bad enough, they told me I had to get out for a little while. Ugh, those two are taking over your house like it's their freaking God-given right. How dare they? My brother and his wife are out of control. Are you really going to let them get away with this? I gave them a piece of my mind when I was there, but they told me to get lost and kicked me out. You need to get rid of them as soon as you can. Like, right now, if possible. I was thinking of trying to get them to leave. But it's fine. Don't worry. This ends today. Huh? This ends today? What does? Yes, it ends today. What do you mean? Listen, Jane, the thing is, there's something I haven't told you. I didn't want to tell you earlier, but it was difficult because of Colin and his situation. Where are you now, by the way? I'm parked up in the car at Peep's Donuts near your house. I drove here after those two idiots gave me my marching orders. I bought myself a cup of coffee and some triple chocolate donuts, which I'm currently angrily munching on to stop myself from going back there and brutally murdering them both. I see. I'm sorry you had to go through that, dear. Do you have some time? I want to tell you about my plan. Your plan? What plan? Sure, I have time. Please, whatever you do, don't tell me it involves letting those two asshats stay with you. Not even for a second longer. Oh, I'm sorry I swore, Mom. I'll try to calm down. It's okay, dear. Don't worry. I might look like a pushover, but believe me, I've been doing a lot of thinking. I've made my decision. Besides, didn't I just tell you? That this all ends today? I decided to sell the house. Hey, sis. You know where mom is? Why? What do you want with her? Forget that. Just tell me where she is. It's like she vanished. What did you expect? You commandeered her bedroom as your own personal storage area and regulated her to living in a freaking cupboard. You promised you'd only be there a couple of months, but way overstayed your welcome and started acting like you owned the place. No one in their right mind would put up with that. Don't tell me you're surprised she reached her wit's end and decided she wanted out. Blah, 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 blah. I didn't ask you any of this crap, Jane. Just show up and tell me where she is already. We have a serious problem here. A bunch of workmen just showed up saying they're here to demolish the house. Yep, Mom sold it. Huh? She sold the house? Yep. And you knew? Yep, she told me a little while ago. That bitch. She tricked us! Wow. Just... Wow, Colin. Your disrespect towards our mother never ceases to amaze me. You do know the house belonged to her, right? It was hers to do with what she wanted. Maybe so, but this is crossing the line. Me and my wife still live here. But she told me we had to get out this month. What's the problem? It was only ever supposed to be short term. You're the one who promised you would be gone almost two months ago. Things change. We plan on carrying on living with mom indefinitely. Living with her indefinitely? After taking possession of her house and forcing her to live in a cupboard? After converting her bedroom into your own personal storage area? It's not like we planned on having her live in the cupboard forever. We were just going to get rid of the stuff in her room. We'd just been so busy we didn't get around to it. The plan was to get rid of all the useless old junk that was piled up, renovate the house, and have her bedroom transformed into a queen's palace so she could live happily ever after in. The whole cupboard thing was just supposed to be a temporary arrangement. 
if someone had to live in the cupboard, it should have been you and your wife. Why should mom have to be kicked out of her bedroom in her own house? Yes, and scare the bugs. I mean, come on, Jane. I can hardly make my life live in a cupboard. You had no issue making your mom live in there. If you're gonna lie, at least make it believable, you selfish jerk. Gah! I'm not lying! Get off my back already! So how did you intend to pay for this grand renovation project of yours? Well, we're saving up now. Bull, you're not saving up at all, are you? I know you were trying to get your grubby mitts on Mom's money. You pitched her this wonderful idea of renovating the place and turning it into somewhere fancy and modern so you could all live together happily in. Sure, but what's wrong with that? She get to live in it too. I only asked her to contribute a little. There's nothing wrong with that. No. You made her live in the cupboard because she said no to your renovation idea. Does your greed and selfishness know no bounds? How low do you have to stoop before you'll be satisfied? You throw mom's kindness right back in her face. I wish she didn't believe you when you told her you wanted to use moving in together as an opportunity to make up for all that crap you pulled with the debt. Jane, please. I need a favor. Will you call mom for me? I want to apologize for everything. No chance. I won't tell her anything unless she tells me she wants to hear from you. We're not going to have anywhere to live in a few days at this rate. Not my problem. Clean up your own mess. We don't have any money. We can't even afford to rent a place. What does that have to do with me or mom? How would me calling her change that? You want her to lend you money, don't you? We're getting put out the house on a moment's notice. Surely that's the least she could do for us. Did you take over paying the living expenses when you regulated mom to the cupboard? Why would we do that? She was still in the same house. It's not like she didn't have a roof over her head. Ah, I see. So you'll be happy as long as you have a roof over your heads then? Well, it just so happens there are tons of abandoned houses in Indiana. Take your pick. You could squat in any one of them for the grand total of zero dollars. Why not just do that? Think about it, it's perfect. You'd have that all-important roof over your head after all. It shouldn't be a problem since you work from home, right? So Jane, the thing is... I'm unemployed. Right, of course you are. So it was exactly as Mom said all along then. Huh? Mom knew damn well you were a jobless bum all along. You had a convenient pack of lies about being self-employed and working from home ready for whenever she called you out on it. But she was the one covering all of the living costs the whole time despite having two working age adults living with her. What the hell? You kidding me? She scheduled the house for demolition knowing I wasn't working? Do you seriously think you're in any position to complain? You made her live in a cupboard. And took over her house. You disgust me so much it's hard to believe we're even related. Jane, please. How are me and Yasser supposed to get by now? I'm serious. We're going to be homeless. Either tell me where mom is or give us some money. No chance. I pick neither. Please! I'll chase my ways. I'll get a job. I'll work hard. I'll bring in tons of money. I'll pay for the house all by myself. I'll never cause you any problems again. I swear. I'll even pay you back the money you put towards giving me out debt. All of it. So please, I'm begging you. I'm a married man, you know. I have a wife to think about now. What kind of husband lets his wife live on the streets? Could you really sleep at night knowing we're begging for money from strangers and rummaging through the garbage just to fight out starvation? 
Yes, soundly, in fact. In fact, the thought alone brings a smile to my face. If you don't understand already, let me make this crystal clear. I couldn't care less what happens to either of you. You're not the only one who's been pissing me off this whole time, you know. Your freeloading wife shares just as much of the responsibility for everything Mom's been through. She never lifted a finger around the house, and in spite of the fact you forced Mom to live in a cupboard, Yasmin made her do all the cooking and cleaning on top of it. What the hell is wrong with her? You're both cruel, manipulative, selfish wastes of space. And you're perfect for each other. I hope you burn in hell together. The only reason Yasmin didn't help out around the house is because I said she didn't have to. And why wouldn't she have to? She was living there for free. Whether you told her that or not, if she didn't see anything wrong with it, she's just as bad as you. Anyone with a conscience would have insisted on helping. Jane, I'm sorry. Me and my wife treat Mom awfully. I'll never cause her trouble again. I swear. I swear on my life, I'll never cause you or Mom any trouble ever again. I'll be the perfect brother and son from now on. Just please find it in your heart to forgive me. And... Can I have some money too? Even just a little is fine. Every little helps. I'm never giving you a single cent of money, or helping you in any way, shape, or form again for as long as I live. Mom and I have had it with you. I'm amazed we even managed to put up with you for as long as we did. We've decided to cut you out of our lives once and for all. She sold the house, which means you don't have a home anymore, at least not with her. You should be pleased. This means you'll be literally incapable of causing us trouble ever again. After that, Mom heard from a neighbor that a terrified-looking Colin and Yasmin were seen rushing their belongings out of the house two minutes before the demolition was scheduled to begin. It seems like they thought the workmen wouldn't start work on the demolition process with them still in the house. But little did they know, half by way of intimidation, Mom gave the project to her friend who runs a construction company and told them to begin work irrespective of whether the unwelcome guests were still in the house. When the bulldozer appeared and they realized the house was getting knocked down whether they were inside it or not, they panicked. Hastily putting their things together and making their escape. My brother tried calling me countless times after that, but I'd run out of patience for him a long time ago. And ignored him every time. We haven't spoken or met since. He barraged me with messages desperately begging for help on the day of the demolition, but I left them all on read. I blocked him when I realized my phone vibrating from his incessant attempts at getting through to me was expending my battery. I have no idea where my brother and his wife are or what they're doing these days. But we haven't had any ominous phone calls from the cops, which leads me to believe they're probably still alive and kicking somewhere. Having no way of contacting us and not knowing where we live, me or my mom will most likely never see them again. Even if, by some unfortunate stroke of luck, we do happen to run into them, we most definitely won't be offering any assistance. Mom ended up moving into a nice new build apartment with the money from selling the house. It's really close to mine and my husband's neighborhood, which means we get to see each other a lot more than we used to. I guess it's just like they say, every cloud has a silver lining. Apparently the reason my mom didn't boot Colin and his wife out the moment they showed up was because she thought she could help him turn his life around. Needless to say, she realized that was futile when they made her live in a cupboard. If you ask me, he deserved everything he got after so cruelly betraying mom's kindness like that. After the dust had settled, mom cracked a smile and said she didn't regret a thing while we were chatting over a cup of coffee but I suspect she might have been putting on a brave face. You see, I know how sweet and kind she is, and I'd be surprised if she wasn't at least a little bit hurt over what my good-for-nothing younger brother did to her. As for me, I'll never stop letting her know how important she is to me. My mom's getting old these days, and her health isn't what it used to be. 
To tell you the truth, I don't know how much time we have left together. But one thing's for sure. I plan on making the most of every last moment by making tons of amazing, joy-filled memories. And being there to support her no matter what. No questions asked, and nothing expected in return. <laughs>